Hey, it's been a while since I did a police report, huh? <laughs> well, I was just kind of cruising through this one, and I was just scrolling down to see what th was going on. I just was like, what? So, um, I'm just going to go right to it. Bomb threat or attack at the University of Idaho. Report taken. You don't, they don't say. Now, what do you guys make of that? That is like, wow. I wonder if they had like, <clears throat> oh, that'd be actually a good thing to look at. Um, to see if they had like a, you know, a lockdown or, or a, you know, like a shelter in place or whatever they call it. So a bomb threat. This was, this was on the 4th. So this is just like, what, what's the day? This fifth? Yeah, it's just like yesterday, right? Let's go to, um, let me see. Actually, let me look it up real quick. Okay, here we go. Well, this is like two days ago. So this is someplace different. Uh, Idaho among several states that received this bomb. What the heck? What, they had another one um, on the September 9th? 2022, September 9th? What is going on? Bomb threats prompt evacuation. What the heck? The Idaho State Capitol was... What is going on, you guys? This is crazy. Seven targets of the bomb... One of, one of at least seven targets was the Capitol. Wow, I'm like, I'm like, what? Now where is it? Let me see. I think this is the one that makes you pay for the stuff. Maybe it doesn't. So, police arrest University of Idaho student over alleged bomb threat. Holy shit! This was on the ninth. Okay, this was. So this was September. This was um, last year. So sep. <sighs> you guys, we're talking September 9th of 2022. <sighs> Moscow Police Department officers arrested an 18-year-old University of Idaho student Wednesday for allegedly making a bomb threat on social media. The student was booked into Latah County Jail on a f count of false reporting of an explosive in a public place, which is a felony. His, court, his first court appearance was Thursday morning. Moscow Police Department Anthony Dollinger it said the FBI notified police of the threat. The student allegedly made a post on the social media app Yik Yak saying there was a bomb in the uh, Theropolis, Theropolis Tower on the University of Idaho campus. <clears throat> police were able to use the student's profile on Yik Yak to locate him at the Fairbridge Inn where many students are temporarily residing. Are they overbooked? Are they over... I mean, no more beds there? Dallinger said they were able to locate him and find out that that the threat was false before any evacuation of the 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 uh, Theopolis Tower was needed. Nothing else? That's it? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is wild. Okay, this one is the Idaho State Capitol receives bomb threat. In an incident that played out in several states in a similar vein, Idaho State Police searched and found no evidence of explosives. The state, the Idaho State Capitol in Boise was searched and cleared early Wednesday after Idaho was among several states that received nonspecific emailed bomb threats that day. At around 5.30 a.m., Idaho received the threat, Idaho State Police Communications Director Aaron Snell told the Idaho Capitol Sun. After receiving the threat, Capitol staff prom promptly notified the Idaho State Police and the Idaho Department of Administration, Snell said. In response, ISP mobilized explosive de detection canines and deployed additional troopers to, s to assist the Department of Administration. Per Snell, in 
conducting thorough staffs of both or searches staffs. <laughs> Where'd I get that? God. Personnel in conducting thorough searches of both the interior and exterior of the building. Snell wrote in an email statement, by 7.30 a.m. the building search concluded with no explosives found. Fortunately, given the early hour, there was minimal impact on state employees, Snell said. Hmm. Idaho was among at least seven states that received bomb threats to their state capital on Wednesday. The Michigan Advance and state, state's newsroom reported that the Capitol buildings in Michigan, Connecticut, this is something to listen, this is something to be, keep an eye on right here, These, because this is interesting. Michigan, Connecticut, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, and Montana also received threats. Out of an abundance of caution, the, Mich the Michigan Capitol was evacuated and closed Wednesday, the Michigan Advance reported. The Idaho State Capitol remained open to the public on Wednesday. Of course it did. <laughs> Because they're invincible, Idaho was gearing up for the st for the state of its annual legislative session, which is scheduled to begin Monday at the at the Capitol. Wow! Whoa! 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 You know what's really interesting is that I don't see anywhere where it was the University of Idaho that had the bomb threat because they were saying it was a Capitol and the other one. So I'm wondering what that was all about. Because that's really odd. I mean, I looked at two, two or three other ones and I haven't seen anything about the university. Hmm. Unless it was somebody at the university that called it in or something. Because why would... You, maybe that's what, why they went there. I mean, the last time, well, in, in September, the person actually came... was <laughs> a student there. Wow, whoa, whoa, this is nuts. Man, I'm telling you. It's crazier every day, doesn't it? 